It's been a pretty busy year so far for Alienware, but it's not showing any signs of slowing down soon. At Gamescom this year, the company is unveiling a slew of new gaming hardware. First up is its next generation Aurora R9 desktop. It features the latest legend industrial design, which we saw in all of Alienware's notebooks this year. Compared to the last model, the new Aurora has a rounder front and an overall less busy look. You've also got a choice between the two-tone black and white case or just a matte black. It's unabashedly a mid-tower computer, but it's one that looks more modern than any Alienware desktop we've seen before. It would be right at home as a prop in Valve's Portal games or something like that. Once you crack it open, you've got full access to all the hardware inside. You can equip it with any of Intel's ninth generation desktop CPUs and your choice of AMD or Nvidia's latest GPUs. Given just how much more powerful and functional gaming laptops have become over the years, a full-fledged desktop seems like a bit of overkill. But the beauty of any desktop is that you can build it any way you'd like and easily upgrade components down the line. So sure, even though notebooks are getting more upgradable like the Alienware Area 51M, it's still far easier to yank off the side of the desktop and plug in whatever you'd like. You'll be able to snag the new Alienware Aurora in black on August 20th, starting at $970. The two-tone version will cost you extra, but Dell hasn't confirmed how much that'll be yet. Now, a powerful desktop deserves a capable monitor. So how does a 55-inch OLED gaming screen sound? We saw a prototype of Alienware's giant display back at CES, but now Dell has finalized its look and it's almost ready to ship. As you'd expect, it basically looks like a TV from the front, but around the back there's a large LED strip which serves as an ambient backlight while you're playing. It also has the new Legend design, so it'd fit right alongside the Aurora or any of the company's new laptops. So why would you get this over a typical TV? It's all about the specs. The Alienware gaming monitor supports 4K up to 120 hertz and a fast 0.5 millisecond response time. It also has AMD's FreeSync technology. And since it's OLED, it'll have inky dark black levels and some of the best contrast you'll find on any TV. I played a bit of Elder Scrolls Online and I was struck by how responsive everything was on the gaming monitor. It was as if the game was instantly detecting my mouse and keyboard movements, even when I was just panning around the camera quickly. I'll admit I don't have much of an issue with gaming on my normal OLED TV, but the Alienware gaming monitor was still noticeably faster. I didn't get to see anything beyond Elder Scrolls Online, but the game at least looked sharp with bold colors and plenty of brightness. As with every OLED display though, be prepared to spend a lot of money. It'll be available on September 30th for $4,500. That's insane, I know, but I'd imagine quite a few gamers wouldn't mind spending that much money to get the best possible screen. It's probably a hard sell for most other consumers though, when you can get LG's latest 65 inch OLED for $2,800. As for other new gear, Alienware also has a 34 inch ultra wide monitor coming, but we didn't get to see it in action. That'll go for $1,500 on August 28th. And if that's too rich for you, there's also a standard 27 inch 1080p, 240 hertz monitor coming on September 17th for $600. Even though most of Alienware's announcements are the standard upgrades we've been expecting, it's still nice to see the company finally adopt a new design across all of its hardware. And maybe swinging for the fences with that gorgeous OLED monitor will actually pay off. Head over to Engadget.com for the rest of our gaming coverage, and if you dug this video, be sure to throw us a like and subscribe to our channel.